Ready for bed, son? Daddy! Hey. <laughs> All right. How would you like me to tell you a bedtime story? Yeah. Stanley yeah. too? Stanley too. In fact, I know one about a little boy just like you. What, me? Yeah. <laughs> would you like to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Johnny. <laughs> Johnny lived in a magical kingdom with pixies and enchanted bunny rabbits that loved him and played video games with him all day and all night. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was lovely and perfect. One day, Johnny's mommy came home and for no real reason killed all of Johnny's creatures and stole all of his magic. Now, one might assume that Johnny's evil she-beast mommy would be content with forcing the sweet little love bunnies to eat the pixies and drinking the blood of the bunnies, but uh, no, she was just getting started. After evil mommy slaughtered all of little Johnny's creatures and, in essence, stole his love, she uh, moved on to her next target, Jimmy's father. You said Jimmy. Johnny's brave patient father wasn't as ghastly as Johnny's mother would have you believe. I mean, sure, he lost some hair in his 30s, and well, maybe he wasn't the most attractive guy in the block, but certainly better looking than the guy she decided to bone on the side. She hit him with a bone? She hit anything with a bone, son. Daddy, I want to hear more about the enchanted creatures and the bunny rabbits and the video games. Did they play did they play Mario Kart? No, son. Remember, evil mommy took them away forever. There will never be happiness again. Not ever. Not while mommy's around. Not while there's still a chance that she could uh, leave her mark on their psyche. Daddy, daddy, you're scaring me. Don't interrupt, son. The world is a dangerous, dangerous place, and there are people out there who will try to hurt little Johnny, like little Johnny's mommy. Can't, can't we, little Johnny and his daddy, run away, move away? Daddy thought about it. But then a couple of weeks ago, Johnny's daddy found out that Johnny's mommy was good with electronics and installed the GPS in the family car without telling Johnny's daddy. Johnny's daddy decided to hang out with one of his college buddies and when he didn't call in, Johnny's mommy got curious so she just showed up at Johnny's daddy's friend's house and just because the two of them were in the hot tub together naked she immediately assumed that Johnny's daddy was having a sexual affair with another man. Another man. That doesn't make any sense. Johnny's daddy's always been for the ladies. You know one time she hit me with a rake? Did you bleed? I bled a lot. And let me tell you something. Once you taste blood... You eat blood? All it does is make you want to kill more. Believe me, I know. Daddy, what really happened to Uncle Jeff? Your mother came at me with a Hitler-like determination. It was like Berlin, 1943, and I was a Jew. Daddy, we are Jewish. Exactly. Daddy, Stanley wants to leave now. <laughs> Your mother's got serious mafia connections. If we try to leave, we'll be dead in a week. Daddy, I just want the bed. So did I. So did I. And that's why we don't eat clam chowder. Hi, boys. I just finished packing your lunches for tomorrow. I'm gonna go have some mommy time now. Aunt Sylvia sent a postcard <laughs> from Madrid of all places. Good night.
Let me ask you something. Have you ever been afraid to get up in the middle of the night and go pee because some scraggly corpse-like hand would reach out from under the bed and snatch you by your ankles? Titties, Stanley. Fucking titties. <laughs>